is Moliston. Let's try to use TV voices and collectively we are Moliston. That doesn't sound like it, does it? I don't know what a TV <laughs> voice is. You know, just real. And tomorrow on the news, you know. Like the soap opera guy? Do yeah. You remember? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. These yeah. are the days. Yeah, of... like that. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I can do it. You know, we always get way more slap happy and goofy by the second video we film, I feel like. Well, we'll do, we'll just, go back and forth. We're just warming up when we film mine. Yeah, well, we'll by do, the time we'll we get to forth. yours, it's, we're all well, in. We don't care we're anymore. Done. But today we are going to do a video, as we, you can tell. But really? Kristen, yes. And what? Kristen was so <laughs> brilliant. Awful idea. She went on Instagram and she said, give us, you know, what would you like for us to talk about on the, our car chat? And so she got some questions or some suggestions. And so we did the first part of it, or we did not really the first part, but another part of um, Kristen's. We yeah. answered a few of the, addressed a few of the topics. Yeah, so if on, you, on, either one you can do first. Yeah, there is no order. Yeah, there's, there's no, no order. right order on this, yeah. on this one. So we're going to continue talking about the comments that she got on her Instagram. And be sure, I will link Kristen's video below. Be sure you go and check it out and subscribe to both of us. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead with the next question or comment. Or comment, the mm -hmm. next topic. So, Susie mm -hmm. Blankenship. Oh, hi, Susie. How y'all met and got together? Who started their channel first? And did y'all already have a channel when you met? I love Susie. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, she's, she's, she's sweet. so sweet. Yeah. Uh, we started, I think you started yours a little bit before I think met. I did yeah. too, yeah. Uh, but we. We kind of started watching each other's videos because we were in the same age group and had similar I'm trying interest. to remember how I found you. I feel like I found you first. I don't but know why I feel like I you. think that maybe you watched a video and I, I had on UT, University of Tennessee stuff and you said, oh, I'm a Tennessee fan too. My son went to school there. Well, yeah, but you were vol mail back then, so I knew you, you were knew. a volunteer fan. Yes, That's yes. why. And so I said, oh, yeah, I yeah. found your vol my son. Yeah, and so then we too. realized that she <laughs> lived... In one direction, I lived in the other direction, and we met exactly in the middle was Chattanooga. Yeah, but we so. both had channels when we met, and I yeah. I feel like I found your channel first for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but we have uh, my, my fourth anniversary is coming up in a, a, a couple of weeks. I think mine was probably in February, so we weren't. So we're pretty close. We started, yeah. must yeah. have started pretty around close, close yeah. to the same yeah. time, but we did both have, that's how we met is because of our YouTube It channel. was, yeah. Otherwise, we would never. I know. You'd be up there, I'd be down there. I'd, and we'd still, be, be, I'd still be lonely. <laughs> and I'd be saying, I'd be no a problem. pitiful, sorry person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another. And what was the oh. rest of it? There's some more to it? Um, who started their channel first? I did by okay, a few months. and you have a yeah, and did we already have a channel yeah. when we met? Yeah, that's yeah. how we met is on because of YouTube. S J J M, um, how did you meet your partners? Go ahead. Well, I was working for American Airlines, and yeah, I was working for American Airlines, and then I had met a girlfriend. You know, I made friends with a girl who was also working for American Airlines, and she. Had, and we started hanging out together and she said oh it's uh you know another friend's birthday we're gonna all go to this western bar after work do you want to come join us do you want to come and i only knew linda is her name i only knew linda but i was like sure yeah i why know not? who linda is you do don't you haven't you spoken to her before no it's jan sorry jan, yeah. <laughs> okay jan, yeah jan is my from She's school your, yeah, from, yeah from like okay. elementary school um no linda is the one Linda's responsible for me marrying Tim. Okay. But anyway, so she said, you want to go, you know, we're just going to hang out at this Western bar and we're going to celebrate somebody's birthday. I don't know whose birthday it was because I didn't know any advice. I said, sure, sure, why not? So I went, we went, and we must have gotten there late because everybody else was already there. Yeah. And were already well into the drinks. <laughs> and Feeling no pain. Among them was Tim. Was he feeling no pain? He was feeling no pain, <laughs> and I was not feeling Tim. Let's just say, oh. when we met, did I... He, did he seem interested at first? I did not like him. I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a perv. <laughs> so he did like you a lot. <laughs> I think, well, I, he didn't know me. Yeah. But you know how guys are. I mean, yeah. I guess, I don't know. He liked what he saw. I don't know. <laughs> he liked what he saw. <laughs> that, I mean, I swear, that's it. Did you say, my eyes are up here? <laughs> so 
I just wanted nothing to do with him. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, so we, I didn't, I didn't even remember talking to him. I probably ignored him the whole night. So he didn't make that much of an impression on you. Well, he made an impression. It just wasn't a good mm -hmm. one. It wasn't a good one. So, um, la later on, Linda says, so I, t I Tim asked me to fix, now how did that go? Linda's, Linda drove a little Volkswagen. Tim is very, very mechanical and he oh, okay. used to be a pro at, you know, taking apart a Volkswagen engine, yeah. putting it back together. So she needed her engine rebuilt. He told her, I will rebuild your engine if you fix me up with Kristen. So Unbeknownst you, to me, so she said, okay. She told me, I said, hell no. So did you feel an obligation no, to? No, I told her no. Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. So that we left it at that. I think he rebuilt her engine anyway. And then, so that must have been, I don't know when that was. That must have been like late November, early December. Yeah. New Year's comes around. New Year's Day, Linda says, oh, we're going to Disneyland. A group of friends. Do you want to go with us? I said, is Tim going to be there? She said, oh, no. I said, okay. Liar, liar, pants I said, fire. okay, I'll go. But I don't want to go if he's going to be there. Oh, no, no. He's not going to be there. He was there. Liar, liar, pants it's on, on fire. fire. Yes. So, he was there. I decided, I, you know, so, and, okay, fine, no problem. He wasn't inebriated. He was sober. He was okay. He was a little bit better this time. Yeah, he wasn't a bit being okay. all pervy. We decided to take the monorail to the bar at the Disneyland Hotel. We decided to have a few cocktails. We had too many. When we tried to get to go back onto the monorail, they said, mm -mm, you're not coming into the park, you guys. Are oh, no. So we decided to go have lunch in the hotel and sober up, and then we would try to go back in yeah. the park later. Well, remember on my channel how I said all those things involved a group of friends and throwing up? Yes. Well... Kristen had had too much to drink. Oh, no. Kristen threw up all oh, over no. the Disneyland Hotel. I was not going back into the park. Tim said, I'll take her home. <laughs> so he took me home. He actually took me back to Linda's apartment. But everybody else went back in the park. Yeah. He took me back to Linda's apartment. He babysat me. He took care of me. The rest is history. Did you start hitting him right away? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I think we went on one more date, one more group date. We all went snow skiing, and I ended up in the hospital. Yes. <laughs> Have I not told you this story? No, not the hospital. You haven't told you the snow skiing I story? So. Uh -uh. I was a very novice snow skier. He uh -huh. knew what he was doing. I had only snow skied once before. He said, okay, we'll only go up halfway up the lift. Yeah. We'll get off halfway, and then we'll ski yeah. down. When we got to the halfway point, the guy there said, no, you can't get off here. You have to go all the way to the oh, top. Oh, no. So we got all the way to the top. It was very, very icy. He said, okay, I'll ski down a little ways, and then I'll stop, and then you ski to me. Yeah. And if you fall, I'll be there. I'll break your fall. Yeah. He skied down. I skied down to him. I fell. I knocked him over. My ski came off, hit me in the head. <gasps> Blood was everywhere. I mean, because a head injury yeah, bleeds, head, yeah, I mean, a head injury bleeds a lot. Yeah. So you'd have thought I'd cracked my head open. Yeah. He called scared the scared him to death, especially against that white snow. Exactly. You know, the blood. Yeah. yeah. So he called the ski patrol. They put me in that basket. They strapped me in. Oh they my goodness! Raced me down the hill. He's. I mean, I can remember looking over and seeing him skiing beside the, the ski patrol guy. They get me to the bottom. He puts me in the car. We go to the little hotel. Go to the hospital. <gasps> they clean my head up. It only took like three stitches. But see, you was, needed stitches, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had to okay. have three stitches. So once again, you couldn't. You want. You couldn't have just walked it off right I mean you well, could I don't know I probably could have but it was probably bleeding so bad I mean he probably yeah. thought I had a major gash in my yeah. head yeah so he just when they got me down to the bottom I he just said I'll take her there was a little you know hospital yeah. associated with the little town he said I'll just take her to the ER they stitched me up came back I stayed in the you know I didn't ski anymore yeah. that day we went home and then after that we went on our first date, our first individual date, because I guess I figured, you know, he's already taken care of me twice. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay, I'll go out with you. And I remember when he came to pick me up, he had with him a ski sweater that was the exact sweater that I had been wearing that I had gotten blood all over. He replaced it. Now that for had me. to kind of mean a lot to you. Well, that one, my mom over. 
Oh, yeah. This was our first date, and that won my mom over. Yeah. So, D. Blimer? No, no <laughs> probably not. So by this time, I'm thinking, okay, this guy probably isn't such a bad guy. Yeah. So, and then. And then the rest was history. Yeah. yeah. I remember my friend's time, be careful. He wants to get married, Kristen. Be careful. He wants to get married. He was, he's older than I am yeah. by a little bit. So, so he, he thought he was, it was time for him to get so married. So he yeah. was, I mean, he was looking, every woman he dated was a potential mate. Yeah. So that's Linda kept saying, you better be careful because he wants to get married. I was like, he's not. Here we are, 37 years mm -hmm. later. <laughs> and you're, y'all, y'all have got a good marriage. Eh, yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. You really do have a good marriage. I mean, we're like anybody else. We have our ups and downs. We oh, have our yeah. disagreements, but yeah. There's, yeah. Oh, and then for some reason... I went to New York for something, um, and I came home on Valentine's Day, and he picked me up from the airport, and we got, when we got out to the car, there were two dozen red roses in the back seat of the car. <laughs> he was so romantic. So TKJM Graham says, any suggestions about sunscreens and how you protect your son when out in the... Any, any suggestions about sunscreen and how you protect your skin when out in the sun? Have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see both of your videos. Well, Melissa doesn't go out in the sun. <laughs> She's a vampire. <laughs> I do. I just don't like to when it's hot. I love to go out in the fall and winter. It's not the sun. It's the heat. It's the heat. Yeah, I just, like. can't, so take, I just can't take the heat. The heat. So, but if you have to find yourself out, what do you do? Anything special? Oh, I, even when I'm inside, I put sunscreen on. So you just yeah. Made, what's your favorite sunscreen? Um, I like for my body and arms and everything. I use the Abaji. It's tinted. It's a tinted sunscreen, and oh. it sort of evens out mm -hmm. and kind of makes your chest, you know, gives it a little glow and your shoulders a little glow. That's nice. I use it, and then on my legs, I use a cheap like like uh, Neutrogena. Mm -hmm. So, and then the uh, dry. I use the Neutrogena dry touch on my. Face, so. On your face, yeah, yeah. I like on my face. So for me, sunscreen and hats. Yeah, I love I love a big big hat. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, good hats. But um, so I like the pure and free SPF 50. I think it is okay. Pure 70 yeah. for my mm -hmm. face. I'm not real religious about putting sunscreen on my arms, and I know I should be. But when I do, I just use whatever we happen to have. Yeah, yeah. You know, sport, whatever. I don't. I use just uh, I'll, the Abaji is more expensive, so that's why I just put it on a small area. The rest yeah. of me, I use the Neutrogena. Yeah, just you know. whatever. It yeah, whatever. Matter, as long yeah. as the SPF is enough. Yeah. But yeah, um, just hats and sunscreen. Yeah. And sunglasses. You should even you should wear sunglasses more. I never wear I feel sunglasses. Like. Because my eye doctor told me, even if it's not really, really sunny out, those UV rays can still get to your eyes and it's not good for your eyes. He said you should always wear sunglasses. Do you have, let's talk sunglasses. Okay. Do you have sunglasses? Do you have a pair? My favorite pair. What kind, are they a name brand? Ray Ban. Well, see, mine are just nothing. They don't have a name or anything. Those are cute, though. I, f I was walking through Belk and they had them on sale like for $15, so I picked them up. I have a lot of cheap sun... Oh, I like those. Those they look like movie star sunglasses. I love yours. <clears throat> they look like um, uh, Top Gun. Yeah, they're aviators. Yeah. But they, I like them because they are narrow enough. Yeah, because you've, you've got a delicate face. Mm -hmm. But my, <laughs> the only part of me that's narrow is my face. She, is, she has a very delicate face, very delicate features. <clears throat> She's a flower. I'm such a delicate flower. She's such a delicate flower. And I, they, they get dark. They have to get really, really dark for me because I wear contact lenses, so my eyes oh. are, are more sensitive to the sun. So. Yeah. Uh, Is it tacky for us to leave our sunglasses on while we talk, while we do this? No. No? We'll leave it on for a bit and okay. take them back off because it's right. getting, it's getting lighter. It's a little okay. glary. Okay, so. Is it glary? Oh, you mean the sunglass? I don't think so. I think if you had a light, it would reflect off the Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm losing my place here. Do I want to... How you? Okay, so we must be going down okay. here. I've just... Uh, I've never bought any name brand. Maybe because These I'm are so, Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I bought... See, some, I already have... They're loose. I mean, they're, well, they're already... Because yeah. I'm not good with them. Um, I have a pair of Brighton... That I bought. Oh, I like a, that. a lot of times when I travel, I'll buy sunglasses. Like when we went on our very first cruise, I bought a pair of sunglasses yeah. on the boat. Um, the Brighton ones I bought when my mom and I took a trip. Oh yeah, that, is that when you went to Europe? No, 
I think it was the first time my mom came to visit me here and we went to Savannah. Oh, I love Savannah. I bought them in Savannah. Don't you love Savannah? I love Savannah. I Everybody love Savannah. needs to visit Savannah at yeah. least once. And Charleston. I love Charleston. They're very too. similar. I yeah. like Savannah better, though. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Because you can walk on the streets with yeah. alcohol. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why. Like have you ever Savannah. been there? Uh, have you ever been there? St. Patrick's no, Day? I oh, oh, yeah. I have. Not. Uh -oh. I have. Doug's brother used to live there before he died. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's, so we go down there. That's a party. Yeah. Oh, it's a party. That's all right. a party. Okay. Neon Sunset says, just make sure the videos are long. You guys are better than TV. <laughs> that's so sweet. No problem there. <laughs> they're not so long. Thank you. That was so sweet. Okay. Here we go. Bridget Durin. Durin? Durin? Sorry, Durin. Bridget. <laughs> says, your ride or die skincare products. What is the one... Or more anti-aging thing you use where I think for both of us is the same mine's retin-a retin -A. yeah retin-a is the yeah that's my number one if, yeah. if I had to do if I had to throw everything away except for one I would keep my retin-a yeah that would be my number one thing that I would keep me too and then the number two thing would be my vitamin C serum probably yeah although and the rest so but I love my Abaji okay so retin-a is yours vitamin C I agree well yes. these are the if you wanted like the bare minimum of whatever you needed it would be retin-a it would be my, the Ula Henriksen vitamin C yeah. and my Bobbi Brown extra eye repair yep. cream and the Tarte Maracuja oil yeah I could have I could have guessed that for you yeah those would be the four absolutely can't don't want to ever do without those four items my four would be the retin-a the uh, vitamin C serum. I'm gonna start making my own. Are you? Yeah, when I run out because I pay too much for it, and it, I'm tired it of it. It can be expensive, and I'm tired of it. Yeah. Just see if you don't. Well, see if I don't. <laughs> so, uh, my vitamin C serum, my Obagi. Oh, what was that for? What did? What happened? You didn't hear that? <laughs> like he's revving up his engine. Seriously, dude, you're in a Passat. <laughs> With a pink license plate. Maybe he sells Mary Kay. <laughs> Denise. Denise. She Memory. wants to know how, um, how wicked. Tell us how you remove your makeup pretty please. Aww. How sweet. Y'all are so nice. I did really? not just say y'all. <laughs> it's rubbing off. It's okay. rubbing off. How do you take your makeup off? Uh, I just wash with the foaming cleanser is all. Yeah. I don't do double cleanse or anything like that. Well, I don't do several You used a, sh a Shiseido, Shiseido White Lucent foaming cleanser. foaming cleanser. Yeah, I like it. It works. I don't change. Yeah, I, I remove my eye makeup with my cellar water and I remove my face makeup with one of those cloths, makeup yes. remover cloths mm -hmm. and water. Yeah. And then I cleanse my face with soap. Well, not, I mean with the face wash. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. I feel I like you upload that... more videos than I do. Oh, absolutely. You do like one a week. Yeah, I try to do every five days, but I don't yeah. always get around That's to it. because you just... have a life. Well, no, it's just that I've got so many grandkids. Yeah. I well, babysit have, a lot. You have a life. <laughs> well, you do too. <laughs> well, I don't. Yeah, you do. You babysit and you go to Atlanta and have, you know, you babysit too. But uh, it's just... Two or seven. Yeah, but I... Well, no, a lot of mine is like... Mom, can you run over and do, we're, we got to do so-and-so. Can you come over? You know, it's mine's yeah. a lot of last minute when I think I'm getting ready to do a video and I have to put it down, you know. Right. I don't have that problem. Mine are all scheduled babysits. Okay, mine, mine, because they live, you know, so close. I guess that's it. I guess so. Well, it's, the old clock says it's time to go. Thank you for my birthday. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. She, she treated me today for my birthday. It's not like you didn't do the same thing for me. I know, you talked to me. So I'm thanking you now. And I appreciate it. I love you. And I'm so thankful for our friendship. Too. As am I. Uh, really thankful. I'm more thankful. No. <laughs> yes, I am. No, 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 uh huh. Now we're going to argue about who's more uh -huh. thankful. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, sir. Am so. Stop it. She makes my stomach hurt laughing so hard. So. There was a video I was going to have you watch that was so funny, and I can't think now what it was. The giraffe giving birth? <laughs> so unfunny. Oh, what was that video? Oh, well. 
anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next month. Yep, see you next month. Bye. Bye. If anything, it'll just feel good. Does that not feel refreshing? It may not fix it, but... It feels refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <sighs> Better keep it out. We'll keep it out. I'll just yeah. spritz you. But, but we can spritz our faces. I don't care at this point, do you? Well, you don't like to spritz your face. I don't, but... I don't know. That woman just come up. Here, let me spritz your face. That just irritated me. When did she do that? It's for at Ulta. When? Today? Well, I was. I thought it was perfume. She was spritzing some. I said, oh, what do you have? And she said, oh, it spritz your face. And she started to spritz me. And I said, I don't want you spritzing my face. When? In, Today? In Ulta, yes. Today? Yes. And I, she said, oh, but it's, it'll set your makeup. It's refreshing. She started following me around. She's got some. was I? I? You were back in the hair or something. I said, I don't like my face spritzed. Well, yeah, with no means no. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pet peeve. No means no. No means no. It's another pet peeve. No means no. It's not the first or second. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did it just pop out? Um, all of a, I know. I just, all of a sudden, something struck me. It's funny. Oh, and it just and when I was down? taking a When I was taking a drink.